my love You're such a fragile thing I know And with the winter comes the ice, the snow But I'm here to hold you can see but I have a couple bookshelves that my sister had she's moving soon into a house and she didn't want them anymore and I have only had these small bookshelves for a while and I've definitely outgrown them so we got them today and we're gonna set them up but here let me show you what they look like so they're just like they're just the typical you know white bookcases and then she had like lights in the top, which will be nice. And I think I'm going to put them here. And then these are the bookshelves I have. So they're not actually bookcases. Um, I found them at the thrift, like at Goodwill. And um, I think they're supposed to actually attach to like a dresser or something. So they're not the most stable and they're only a half size. So it only goes three up. So I've just run out of like room. If you can see, I have books all stacked here and you probably can't see, but I have books stacked to the floor to here and then I have another pile here and then I also use books in decoration all the time oh and I have books up here I'm like this is just a mess so I've just been really wanting new bookcases for a while and so the fact that she had these they're a little scuffed up because her dog chewed you can't see the um because I don't have the shelves in here but her uh, her dog chewed through like on some of them but I'm just gonna hopefully sand them down and repaint them um and I may actually paint them a color I'm not sure um I, I kind of want to like look on Pinterest and see how that stuff looks because I'm just not sure how it will come out especially with like having a bunch of different color books I don't know if it look weird oh my love You're such a fragile thing, I know And with the winter comes the ice, the snow But I'm here to hold And oh my love Don't worry about the cold just yet the trees haven't started to shed Just feel the summer sun As it warms our bed I'm lying And I'm lying When I say shelf we lost two of the pegs and so I can't put it in yet so I'm just gonna leave it open and then fill that in last but I think what I'm gonna do is do them maybe by genre I don't know if I'll do genre and then author or if I just do genre I'm not sure I probably should have extra room on the shelves but I don't I don't know because I've got piles everywhere as you've seen so I think I'm gonna do that and we'll see how it goes okay so I have I'll show you. I have all the books removed and I just moved these here for now. I don't, that's not where they'll stay, but I put all my books in a pile 
over here and then there's some on the desk and then I think I'm going to start sorting them on the ground into genres and then I'll start putting them up here in by genre. I'm thinking I'm gonna do probably fantasy and then go into maybe mystery thriller over here because I read those two the most and then kind of do it like the miscellaneous ones down below. But yeah, that's the plan. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. It has been a few days since you saw me put together the bookshelves um, and I have sat with it for probably a week and a half and I don't like it. Um, well, first of all, I have a lot of things just on here that the cats have been able to get to so I had to move them all up. I just, I don't know, I did it by genre so I have it as adult fantasy, YA, like fantasy mixed with some other YA middle grade classics and then my mystery and my thriller here and then like some nonfiction down at that bottom which you can't see and I just it's not really working and I keep having to pull stuff out and not everything fit I have you can't see it but I have a little pile here too that wouldn't fit so eventually I, I want to get a third bookcase but for right now I've brought in this little book shelf we have and I think I'm gonna put books like that around my TBR or that I need to use to film or like what I've read so because I'm gonna make wrap-up videos and TBRs if you've seen on my channel so I think if I move some of that I might be able to make more room and then I can't decide if I'm going to reorganize how I have it I don't know I just something about it I don't like and I don't know I don't know what it is but also I have um, a plant that is gonna go up here because I had it out uh, on above her mantle and then the cats would not stop getting into it like my one cat literally jumped into it and was just sitting in the pot and they dig and so it had to be moved but then it wasn't doing really well where it was so this room gets pretty decent sunlight so I think I'm gonna move it up here and then I also have a lot of stuff for my shop that 
I need to have out. I don't really have another place for it, so right now it's up here, which you can't really see. I'll show you in a minute, but I don't like it, but I can't really do anything about it. So, I don't know. I think it's gonna have to do for now, and then eventually if I can get a third bookcase, that would be really good, because I still have books out in the living room I wasn't able to bring in. So, that's where we're at. I may just, I may redo everything and maybe go by color, but then again, I don't know. I, I don't, I've never done a rainbow bookshelf. Usually it's either, usually I start off with by genre or I've done alphabetical by author and then it always just turns into madness because then I just shove books wherever there's room for them. And so then my order never sticks. So maybe if I did rainbow, it would work, but I don't know. I can't decide. I'm so indecisive about this. I just don't, I just don't think it looks that good. Well, if you have any opinions, please leave it down below because I am stuck. <laughs> so we'll see. I'll, I'll figure it out today, but I'll show you the bookcase and the plant and I'll get that in here and then I'll go from there. Okay, so this is the bookcase. So it's not too big uh, and I think it'll be perfect for putting all the books I'm like working on in there and then here is the plant you can see it's really long too so I need it up high because this plant is poisonous for cats to eat it and so that was my other problem was they were jumping in there and they weren't eating it they were just digging but I was really worried that they were gonna start eating it but you can see it started to get some brown leaves um, because of where it was at so I need to move it in here I think it's gonna go up here and then you can see what I was talking about with the, that situation. But I don't really have anything else I can do with it. So this is um, some old sewing uh, ribbon and stuff from my grandma that I think she got from her mom. It's And my mom gave it to me. And so I want to keep it, but I don't really have another place for it right now. So it's going to go up there. And then that's some stuff for my shop. This is some stuff for my shop. And then this is just things I had no other place to go. And Lavender's also not good for cats, so I have to keep it up away where they can't get to it. Um, then I just have this little decor piece, which might stay. These, which is for calligraphy. Um, candlestick. Other random knickknacks. This had to go up because I had it down here, and the cats can get to it from there. Then this just jar holds some like miscellaneous stuff and yeah a little candle and so you can see I also will oh sorry I also will have more room once I get the other bookshelf that's missing in here um but we just haven't done that yet and I need to go to the store and find some that'll fit and you can see where my sister's dog chewed and that's a problem for another day but here is also the book pile I still have. So I couldn't fit like contemporary, I guess you could call it, or I have some nonfiction and then just some like random that didn't really have a category in what I have a lot of. So I was just going to put it at the end and then I ran out of room. So they're there now. So that's what I'm working with. Full stop Can't believe I live in your thoughts I think about you all the time Morning, evening, and midnight Such a wonderful delight Forgo Give up everything that I Unexpected love was found You're the rose in a garden And it shows if I'm honest You're the leaves in mid-August And I've come out here to say
here and then move this maybe somewhere else in the room but yeah so I'm I'm happy with it I think it could be better but I've got all my books basically on my shelves which was not happening before so yeah I'm I'm happy and it looks so much brighter and nicer to take videos here and pictures and I can just walk in and stare at my books and see all of them so I'm happy uh, and thank you for watching. If you have any ideas about how I could organize them better, please leave a comment down below, and I'll see you next time.